Jesse Nelson catching up with former Badger running back Melvin Gordon here on ESPN Wisconsin. We are right in front of the football 408 rushing yards in that game in 2014 against Nebraska here at Camp Randall Stadium. Melvin, thanks so much for taking the time. Former ESPN Madison intern reminiscing on the old glory days here 10 years later. Yeah, I feel kind of old though, man. People walking up to me saying, man, I, I watched you when I was in middle school and I was in, I'm like, oh man. So it's crazy that it's, it feels so you know, it's, it's so far ago, but, but uh, you know, I still bring back when you come here and see stuff like this. So It's still amazing that you've put together more than a decade now of an amazing football career, going back to your time here at Wisconsin, and then, of course, almost 10 years now in the National Football League, uh, all those years with the Chargers, Broncos, but the last couple of years, Chiefs, Ravens, you've played in some significant games down the stretch. Where are things at with the career right now? Um, It's just in there. You know, when you get to 30, uh, running back, we're not the, the most liked position. So uh, when we get, you know, we get 30, you kind of just – play it by ear you know you kind of just keep at it and then you know closer to camp is usually when we start you know the backs our age start getting our calls well we'll see how it all plays out you know we're all pulling for you all the time here uh badger football of course year two luke fickle at the reins here you're starting to see the program come together you're here checking everything out today what do you make of where the program's at right now um you know we're just striving to get better you know it's, it's, it's a whole different game uh now with the nil and things like that so uh, the way you coach, the way you, you know, have to approach players are different. So it's a little bit, it's an adjustment for, uh, you know, for college coaches, but it's part of it, you know. So we're uh, we going we to be good, though. I, I, got, I got faith in that. When you're talking to recruits, what's the kind of thing that you're saying, the message that you're relaying with how different things are now compared to when you played? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> them getting paid. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the big difference right there. But, uh, you know, when I talk to guys, usually it's, it's more running backs usually and, uh, you know, I just tell them we got a tradition here with backs that we want to keep up and that we need to keep up. You know, it's regardless when things aren't going right, you need your bell cow to kind of hold things down. And we took pride in that. We take pride in that. And, and we want to continue that down the line. So when you see Luke Fickle's dairy raid scheme, as they like to say, and we saw it coming into fruition at the back end of last season, what gives you optimism that that's going to succeed, but also we're going to keep that tradition of running backs going here at Wisconsin? Um, Because he knows that, you know what I mean? He knows about the tradition here, and, and we know the game is changing. Uh, so, you know, you have to be able to pass the ball to be to be great, and, and he understands that, but um, I think he do understand, too, this is the Big Ten, and, and you have to be able to run the ball, especially it gets cold. Cold, it's get it's weather like this. It's raining. You, you you know, in not all conditions you can you can pass the ball, but you can't run in all conditions. So you have to have that. You have to be balanced though to win a national championship. Um, but you have to be able to run run the ball to to be able to compete with an Ohio State, Michigan State, Penn State, those guys like that. So we can be all right. Usually we talk about the big games on Saturdays. A couple of Friday games on the schedule announced earlier this week. The opener on Labor Day weekend against Western Michigan. And then 11 a.m. on the day after Thanksgiving, hosting Minnesota. What would you make of those Friday announcements, especially that game for Paul Bunyan's act? Uh, it, it's different, man. It's, 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 it's definitely different. Uh, it's something we're not accustomed to, and most people aren't. Um, but just like anything, for our Badgers, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll make room for it. You know, we'll make adjustments for it. But um, I don't care when we play Minnesota. We play them on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It don't matter. As long as we come out with that W and get that X back on, that's all I care about. We'll see if they can do that this year. We're pulling for them, too. Melvin Gordon catching up with us here on ESPN Wisconsin. All right, Melvin. Um, ESPN Madison is the new home of Wisconsin Badgers volleyball this year. We're super excited about that new partnership. What's your experience with the volleyball team and how you've been cheering them on from afar, seeing the success that that program's had? We were really close. My freshman year, really close with the volleyball team, and I think that was the group that kind of, you know, brought us to greater heights. Honestly, um, and the girls now just kind of continued that. Um, but we were really close with them. We stayed with them in the region, so we had a relationship with them, and we used to support them, obviously, because we were in, all in the region together. So we supported them a lot, and you know, I just I, anytime I see it on Twitter, um, you know, I'm retweeting anything with, with Badgers, honestly. But especially them, I still support. Um, I haven't been able to watch them, honestly, but if I get a chance or I hear about them or see they doing good, which they usually are, I definitely show love when I can. We love that. Catch every match this year on 100.5 ESPN and 620 WTF. 
KMJ. Melvin, you're here uh, in part in a couple of uh, weeks here coming up in July. The Vibes Golf Out. You're big in, with the, the Vibes group. We've talked plenty about that on ESPN Wisconsin over the years, but tell us about that event and what that cause is all about. Yeah, well, we're just trying to disrupt the game. Uh, you know, that we're a social club. We're trying to disrupt the game and, and keep people co continuing to pick up clubs. Guys that look like me, walk like me, and talk like you and walk like you to pick up a club and keep up a club. And uh, we just want to have fun. You know, we want to show everybody a good time. We're going to be competitive. We got different things. I don't know how many tournaments you've been to, um, <laughs> but I've been to quite a few. And uh, I, I feel like we do uh, bring a different feel to the to that to that world you know um we got so many personalities and we thrive in that in that in that world and uh you know we just like i said we we back home we make sure we do one at home this is where we got grouped with 10 of us and uh, we all went here so we always make it a premium to to come back home and do something and uh july 20th uh u ridge um that golf course um we gonna we gonna we gonna make it go. Registration open, so y'all tap in. But it's gonna be fun. We got the link in the bio of the video here on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. No doubt about that. It's awesome. We love the experience. We were part of the event with you guys last year. Hoping it'll be nice and beautiful outside to be part of it this year. Oh, please, <laughs> <laughs> please, let's be great. Great weather. Great weather. And at U Ridge, you know that's always gonna be a fun experience. Oh, yeah. So we're looking forward to what we got going on with the Vibes Golf Out and coming up on July 20th here this year. Melvin, before you go, I do want to tell you a story. I owe a lot of the success of my career to you, and you don't even know it. I don't. So, uh, when you were in high school at Kenosha Bradford, I made my debut on ESPN Milwaukee wearing a marching band uniform because I was interviewed because I won a contest to make my appearance on the radio station. And because the game was so lopsided that you were crushing my Muskego Warriors with the oh, running yeah. clock and everything, <laughs> they kept me on for the entire yeah. second half yeah. to be able to keep talking because they had nothing better to do on the oh, broadcast. Yeah. So, thanks for dominating my Warriors so that. But I got my airtime and ultimately led to my career here. Hey, anyway, I can show love, baby. <laughs> I'm here for it. That's awesome, man. Love it. Melvin Gordon, former ESPN Madison intern, of course, an NFL great and a Badgers legend joining us here on ESPN Wisconsin. Melvin, always thank you so much for the time. We appreciate everything you do for the Badger community. Yeah, I thank you guys for having me on Wisconsin.